All right, today's video, actually I'm working on two videos today, but the first one is gonna be really short. I'm just gonna show you a, a battery that we have. It's an e-bike battery. Uh, there's not too many of them, but I just a quick video show you what it is. We're just gonna blow them out so they're out of our hair. Uh, and then you guys out there could use it if you're looking to make an e-bike battery. All right, so here it is. This is a weird looking battery. It's a removable battery and it's got a light. Well, it doesn't have a light. It just has a reflector, I think. So you probably slide it in on, a, you know, on the rear side of an e-bike. I don't know, right? But that's what it seems like. It has an on off switch. It has a charging port. See that on off switch charging port. And then it has this similar connector as some of the other batteries that we're looking at here. This thing says it's a 36 volt, 8.7 amp hours, right? So 313 watt hours. And it also has a fuse. So, oh, and then also has this little thing that tells you if it's on and off. This one doesn't work. I'm gonna take it apart to see what's in there. I took the screws off already and you should be able to just, oh, okay, so there we go. Okay, so you disconnect these two cables, which is the, the charging port and then the thing. And here is the fuse. That's what prevented us from making the thing. The fuse is in there. And then this is the, the plug. The plug, the plug. Um, here's the BMS. And then the BMS has the little thing here, right? So I checked the voltages of all the cells on this one and they are okay. There are uh, exactly a nominal 3.7 volts. So that means the BMS is off. The BMS is, it's bad because it doesn't let you, it doesn't turn on, the little thing doesn't work, right? It should be right at nominal voltage, should be somewhere around 50% state of charge. Let's see if we can see the batteries. Okay, so the batteries are, look at these. These are also INR 29Es. So this is a different, style of 29e but here we go look at that 29e's so it's a 10s so 36 uh volt right let me take this uh bms out of here so that we can look at the number maybe if you want to buy one of these and replace the bms then you know you at least could see what the bms before you even have to take it apart Okay, so here we go. I just disconnected the BMS and reconnected it. Here's a better image of the, the BMS. There it is. And here's the interesting thing about it. The, this thing right here just connects right to the output of the BMS. So this is a separate system. The little, the little meter here. So if you were to replace this BMS with just like an off brand or a, you know, third party off the shelf one, you just have to connect it to the uh, output of the BMS and then this will work. But here's an even better um, story. Here's even a better thing. I did, all I did was disconnect this cable and connect it back in here. And guess what? When you turn on the uh, switch and then you press on this, look at that, this battery works. All I had to do was just disconnect it and connect the BMS again and that reset it and now the battery is fully functional. So I don't know out of all those batteries, we have a small number of these, right? And like I said, when if we had a truckload, you know, 40,000 pounds of these, we would maybe do the work and look at, you know, BMSs to replace and maybe we would sell it to you with the BMS ready, you know, uh, so that you can do the thing or we would replace them in-house and then try to get some value out of them or whatever. But because these are such small volumes of these batteries, these essentially are coming in with all the other stuff that's coming in in large volume. We're just, we just don't know what to do with them, right? And I'm just taking the time to do these quick videos here 
And I'm not putting too much time into them. Like, I'm not fixing them, right? And I'm just, we're just going to put them up on the website as uh, untested. You might get something like this that it's super easy to fix. All you have to do is disconnect it, connect it. Boom, now it works. All you might have to do is charge it, and then it works. Uh, but on the other side, also, you might have to replace a BMS, right? Or maybe some of the cells are... Um, you know, bad or whatever because they, they got water damage. Who knows? It could be anything could be possible with, with these guys. But that's why we're going to sell them really cheap. These are good quality cells. These are good quality uh, battery packs that for some reason or another, they're not functioning. I mean, we've had customers say that when they open them up, there's one cable that's disconnected, you know, on the output. Uh, that bad switch. Uh, a lot of the ones we sold uh you know a month ago they uh most of them just didn't have fuses and then once people put fuses in them boom they started working one guy said that the inside of the battery is completely wired wrong so someone had tried to fix it or fix a problem they didn't know what they were doing and boom they they just you know they just wired it wrong and then it ended up in the pile of non-working batteries and then they ended up to us and then it ended up he bought one and then he just fixed it really quickly right and so anything is possible that's why these are untested but here it is another one of these cool battery packs that have good cells and a lot of them are are working already so we have a small number of these we're going to be on the website if you're looking for a good deal on some e-bike battery and you're doing a diy or you have this particular bike that uses this battery and you just want to try your luck and get one in there and see if it just works or this is a cool uh way to do it i think these are over a hundred dollars retail even even replacement we're gonna be selling them for way less than that right we're just gonna bump them up a little bit from what we pay for them and then you know put them out there so that the diy in in you could benefit from this sort of stuff all right thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye Ooh. Mm -hmm.